I'm Diane Sayre. I'm one of the six-person LaRouche Democratic slate speaking to you from Trenton, New Jersey. Behind me is uh, breaking up a rally of about 5,000 police, firefighters, teachers, and CWA union members. And I can tell you in the wake of the AFL-CIO endorsing Marcy Captor's H.R. 1489, the return to Glass-Steagall, uh, people are definitely getting smarter, and what is clear is that it's not a partisan issue, it's a fascism issue. Uh, as you can see from the interview we did with CWA local President Tom Palermo, what you have here in Trenton is a bipartisan attack on the labor movement coming from Governor Chris Christie and Democrat and labor union uh, steelworker Sweeney who is the Democratic majority leader in the New Jersey State Senate, and they are attacking collective bargaining. So it shouldn't be that much of a stretch, especially in the wake of the arrest of Too Big to Fall, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, that Obama is the same as the so-called right-wing Republicans, that you have a bipartisan fascist movement to attack the American people. And you cannot get Glass-Steagall with President Barack Obama remaining in office. Uh, what has occurred recently is that there is now a bipartisan opposition to Obama's blatant violation of the War Powers Resolution. And many of the people opposing Obama on his violation of the War Powers Resolution are signing on to support the Glass-Steagall Act. So you can see here in New Jersey and across the country there's a growing opposition to fascism and a patriotic upsurge which is beyond party. It's the uh, re return to the principles of the American Constitution, Alexander Hamilton and Lyndon LaRouche.